Clan bad technology is a set of techniques used to adapt plans for specific needs or opportunities. Now, plan biotechnology develops fastly because increasing world population requires more food. Human society is searching for novel plants, products such as biomaterials, therapeutics, and biofuels. Also, the new methods of ecological problem solutions are required. Here are four main directions of plant biotechnology. Number one is plant cell tissue organ culture and micropropagation. Number two is marker assisted selection. Number three is genetic engineering of plants. Number four is cellular prevention for gene pool safekeeping. Plant cell tissue organ culture and micropropagation. Tissue culture is a cultivation of plant cells, tissues, or organs on a specially formulated nutrient media here are several types of tissue culture depending on the part of the plan used compared to the use of intact plants the main advantage of cell and tissue culture is rather easy control of chemical and physical environmental factors here the growth and the development of various plant parts can be studied without the influence of the remote material in the intact plant body Second, marker assistance selection is an indirect selection process where a trait of interest is selected, not based on the trait itself but on a marker linked to it. Markers are rather genotypical characteristics of the crop than its phenotypic uh, features, so mass speeds up the process of the selection or make it more efficient. And now we are going to talk about the different types of tissue cultures. Callus culture is obtained by culturing of sterile pieces of plant with both an auxin and a cytokinin. It is an unorganized growing and dividing mass of heristomal de-differentiated cells. Cell suspensions are obtained from friable cali. Some cells of such callus in liquid medium release into the medium after agitation. These cell suspensions generally consist of a great variety of cell types and are less homogeneous than the callus cultures. Protoplast culture is the cells without cell walls. It is obtained from least mesophyll 2 or crumb cell suspensions. Protoplasts are fragile, therefore must be cultured carefully without agitating with high osmotic potential maintenance. The use of the protoplast culture is uh, the protoplasts are ideal for transformation. Anther and microspore cultures are used for haploid plant obtaining through direct embryogenesis or via a callus stage and a subsequent embryogenesis. Treating such plant material with colchicines results in fertile dihaploids, which are homozygous. Haploid tissue cultures can also be initiated from the female gametophyte. Elistem culture. Isolated primary or secondary shoot metastems can be cultured in vitro, producing clumps of shoots from either auxiliary or adventitious birds. Use 1 for cloning propagation, use 2 production of tyrus free plants. Micropropagation is a tissue culture method developed for the production of disease free, high quality planting material and for rapid production of many uniform plants. There are different types of microclonal propagation. Number one, activation of existing heristem. Number two, the induction of birds. The formation of adventitious shoots directly by the tissue explants. The induction of direct or indirect somatic embryogenesis. And finally, the differentiation of adventitious birds in the callus culture. And now we are going to talk about the transgenic plants. A transgenic plant contains a gene or genes which have been artificially inserted to modify plant for specific needs. The inserted gene sequence known as transgene may come from another unrelated plant or from completely different species. 
Here are some applications of GM plants. Number one, increase pest resistance to fungal, bacterial, viral and insect pests. And number two, improved agronomic characteristics such as increased yield and hygiene ability to utilize fertilizers and withstand stresses. Number three, better post harvest processing characteristics like slow or no ripening fruits and vegetables and higher solid tomatoes. And number four, reduction of anti-nutrients such as removal of glycolloids or allergens. Number five, improved nutritional characteristics uh, and the pharmaceutical benefits. And number seven, provision of alternative sources of industrial oils, fuels and plastics. And, and last, uh, remediation capacity for metal and organic pollutants from the so, uh, soils and water and now we talked about the mechanism of the transgene delivery it starts with agrobacterium tonifications tdna the molecular basis of genetic transformation of plant cells by agrobacterium is transferred from the bacterium and integration into the plant nuclear genome of a region of a large tumor inducing ti plasmid resident in agrobacterium ti plasmid containing the region called tdna borders of tdna are targeted for vird1 vird2 and endonuclease so it processes the tdna from the ti plasmid Agrobacterium rhinogenes are also used for the transgene delivery. It contains a tDNA region located on the RI plasmid that carries genes involved in the root initiation. Secondly, the particle bombardment transformation. The techniques involves coating microcarriers uh, with the DNA of interest and then accelerating them at high velocities to penetrate into the cells. The microcarriers must be spread evenly on the circular uh, plastic film. The entire unit is then placed below the refrigerator disc in the main vacuum chamber and the biology device. A variety of refrigerator discs are available to burst the pressures ranging from 450 to 2200 psi. And the third one is electroporation mediated transformation. Electroporation mediated transformation requires the application of strong electric field pulses to cells and tissues is known to cause some type of structural rearrangement of the cell membrane. A voltage of 25 mV and the amperage of 0.5 mA for the 15 minutes are the most often used parameters. Using the electroporation method, successful transformation has been achieved with the protoplast. The thick cells walls of the most intact tissues represent the key physical barriers to electroporation. Preparation. Marker assisted selection is an indirect selection process where a trait of interest is selected not based on the trait itself but on a marker linked to it. The markers are sequence of nucleic acid located near to the desired gene and are transmitted by the standard laws of inheritance. There are different kind of markers, the microsatellites and single nucleotide polymorphism, restriction, fragment length polymorphism, random amplified polymorphic DNA markers and amplified fragment length polymorphism. So here is a small picture of the amplified fragment length polymorphism. And lastly, the cryopreservation. Cryopreservation is the shortage at ultra-low temperatures of organs and tissues in the veto culture such as birds, shoot, tips, zygotic and somatic embryos, pollen and cell cultures. A prior preservation offers maximum stability of phenotypic and genotypic characteristic of the stored plant material. As such, plant material can be stored for unlimited periods. There are several methods of plant material preparing to cryopreservation. Uh, number one, desiccation method. Number two, slow freezing. Number three, encapsulation, dehydration. Number four, vitrification. And the, and the last and final is encapsulation, vitrification.